Hey guys. Okay. So welcome to our little conference countdown series. There are officially 11 days until conference kick off, or at least when our team is kicking it off. So I am super excited that we are doing this. We are probably going to have some different teams joining us throughout the series. So for those of you that might not know me, my name is Alyssa Bowman. I'm an ambassador diamond. I've been with the company for over nine years now. And so this week is going to be really fun and a little bit different just to spice it up. Um, we are doing a three night series. So tonight is just our little pep rally. We're going to get hyped, have a little bit of fun. Um, and then tomorrow night we're calling it training camp. So that's going to be several top leaders just training on a specific topic that they are either passionate about or something that's specific that's working for them or is working for their team. And then on Tuesday night, we are doing our opening night. And that's going to be a little bit of just tips on time management, how to actually make your goals happen, and then some challenges, giveaways, and all sorts of fun stuff. So that one's going to kind of go from training to like enroll-a-thon. So we'll release more details about that when you guys show up on Tuesday night. Um, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I am super excited that conference is in January this year between the election, <laughs> between COVID, the holidays, and everything else, um, I think we can all agree that, we're sure, uh, um, that we are ready for some sanity <laughs> and just some normalcy and getting back into some sort of routine. You guys, life is always busy. Something always happens, especially when you put huge goals out into the world. We were like, I'm making the decision that this is the year that I'm going emerald or diamond or I'm going to make this business work. Okay. That's usually when life gets a little bit chaotic. So as long as you guys are prepared for that, um, just knowing that life will probably throw you some curveballs this year because it happens every single year. So you can't just be excited about your goal. You have to be committed to your goal for 2021. But that all being said, you can drop a one in your, in the chat. If you guys are ready to totally leave 2020 in the dust, the election, the everything else that we are is totally out of our control. If you are going to leave that in the dust, I'm not even going to say leave it in the rear view mirror because we are not looking back at it. <laughs> we don't even want to look in the rear view mirror. Okay. It's gone. Everything is gone. Um, and so tonight is like I said, pep rally tomorrow night, training camp, Tuesday's our opening night. It'll be the same code, same time. Tonight will be a little bit shorter because of the Sunday night call. So before I pass this off to Tiffany Pfeiffer, I want to kind of help, hopefully help expand your vision for the season that we are entering. Um, because I think for those of you, and I'd love to see in the chat, who has been in the business for less than a year? I would love to know. And even if this is your second conference, but last year you were going into conference as a newer distributor, this is truly going to be new for you too, okay? Um, but I want to expand your vision for what can happen during the season because I think so many times we set these goals, but we have no idea how in the world that's going to possibly happen. I feel like every January, February, I put a goal out there and... I have literally no idea where that's going to come from, where the people are going to come from, how in the world I'm going to make that happen. Obviously, it wouldn't be a goal if we could see it all. If we were right that close, it wouldn't actually be a goal or a dream. Um, but, okay, that being said, I want to hopefully share with you guys what can be done in such a short period of time in this business. And we are going to have some people share their own personal testimonies of this at the end of the Zoom tonight, so make sure you stick around. Um, but I want to just give you 1% of wrapping your brain around what can happen during this time of year. So we can often get so caught up in who's not joining, who's not ordering, who isn't working, how far close we are not to our goals, um, that we can't see how quickly it can truly change because we're focusing on the wrong things. So um, many of you guys have heard me say this, but the analogy I always like to use is that this business is like a snowball. And in the very beginning, when you were a newbie, you don't know what you're doing, you're lacking confidence, you are the only one pushing that snowball. <laughs> you're pushing a snowball and it's, it's growing a little bit as your confidence grows. You might get a customer here and there. You might 
find some potential distributors, you're probably getting discouraged because your snowball is, seems to be growing as fast as it's melting, right? But then you, you have a couple people join and they catch the vision too. And then you're not pushing the snowball alone anymore. And the snowball will continue to grow and to grow and to grow. And eventually when you do this business right and you learn the duplication part of it, that snowball grows out of control where you're barely pushing it anymore, but you've created this giant snowball that continues to grow. And that's what we want for all of you guys. Um, so um, I want to talk to you guys about the power of one really quick. And this is something they did at conference a few years back, and it was really powerful to see it up on a screen. I don't have a fancy screen behind me right now, so you guys are just going to have to listen. Um, but for those of you that love numbers, you want to know kind of what your odds are, like how can I make this business work? If you're a numbers person like I am, I think you guys are going to really like this. And I want you to think about um, what it would be like every single month or every single day if you woke up knowing your goal for the month was to find your one. And we have steps to success. We want you guys to aim to sign three distributors every month and find six customers every month. And we know sometimes you're going to hit it, sometimes you're going to exceed it, and sometimes you're going to miss it. But we want that to be your goal. But what if your non-negotiable for this business was finding your one? Every single month you went out to find your one, no matter how busy you were, no matter the holidays, no matter what's going on in your life, what if every month you committed to finding one? And I'm going to show you what that's going to look like if you will find your one and you will create that duplication within your organization of everyone's looking for their one. Okay. So keep in mind when I put these numbers out there, this is all of you finding one. As you grow in the business, as you um, become more confident as you start trying different avenues to share your business and opportunity, you're going to find more than one. And so is your team, but I'm going to give you the numbers with just finding one. So let's say it's January, 2021, and you are the only person in your organization. Okay. But you're going to go out and you're going to get your one before the end of the month. Okay. So now there's two of you in February, you're each going to go out and you're going to commit to one. Now there's four of you. In March, we aim to do our steps to success. Like I said, sometimes we don't hit it, but we're not going to not get our one. So everyone on your team is going to go out and get their one. And now there's eight of you guys in March. And eight is almost an emerald chart. So for those of you that are like, I've got to go emerald. I've got to get this bonus. Okay. That's each of you just getting one. Okay. And if you're on fire to get that bonus, you're most likely going to get more than one because you're going to be sharing it with anyone and everyone you can find. Um, in April, you're going to have an organization of 16 people. Guess what? 16 people is a diamond chart. Exactly 16 people, including you, is a diamond chart. You guys, that's when you start unlocking real money in this compensation plan, like real, I shouldn't say real money. It's, it's all real starting from the very beginning, but the real crazy money that unlocks so many different parts of our compensation plan where you truly are writing your own paycheck at that point. Okay. So that's in April that you will be diamond by going out and teaching people, finding people that want to use the products, finding people that want to use the products while they make extra money. Guess what that turns into by December, you guys. By December, if your organization is committing to get, getting one, you will have 4,096 distributors in your downline by teaching the power of one, okay? So I need you guys to just open, open your brain just a little bit because I know that sounds like an unreal number and I'm going to give you some other stats to hopefully help you feel like um, this is obtainable for you. Because guess what? Even if half of your people get one, even if you get one every other month, which you guys, I need you to think bigger than that because it's 2021. But even if half of you are getting one every month, that's still 2000 distributors. What? You don't even need 200 distributors to be successful in this business, you guys. Um, okay. So hopefully this analogy is going to make sense. But my husband and I were talking the other day, actually it was a couple weeks ago, just about the reasons that people leave this business and how we don't always have a brain cell of just how big the market is for our products and for our business. How, not even just how big the world is, but even just in the United States. And I know we might have some international people on here, but I'm just going to talk about the United States in general. Um, so there, you would have 4,000 distributors on your team by the end of the year. Okay. 
there are over 7 million people in the greater Houston area, which is where I live. 7 million. In the U.S. alone, there are 194.3 million people in the age groups that we cater to. 194.3 million. Okay. And there are currently about 100,000 active distributors in our whole company across the entire world. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. When you start talking in hundreds of thousands, millions, billions, those are just like all words, right? Like we don't really have a brain cell for how big that actually is. Like a million sounds so close to a billion. Like we feel like we're running out of people, but I'm going to give it to you in reference of time. Okay. So hopefully this will make sense. So 4,096 seconds. Okay. That's how many distributors you would have on your team by the end of the year. That would total one hour and eight minutes. Okay. 7 million seconds. So 7 million people that there are in the Houston area, that is over 81 days. Okay. <laughs> so to put that in reference, you will have an hour and eight minutes by the end of the year, but 7 million seconds, the amount of people in the city that I live in would be 81 days. And then 194.3 million seconds, which is how many people are in the United States that are 18 and older, up to 64 years old. That's six years, one month, and four weeks. That's the difference, you guys. You can have, and I hope, does this make sense at all? You can have an hour on your team. And in the world, there's six years, one month, and four weeks people in just the United States of potential on your team, okay? Some other stats, stats for you. There's about 4 million babies that are born every single year. And about a million of those are first-time moms, okay? Every two years, there are about 7 million people that turn 18 in the United States, okay? Um, there's 1.8 2 billion people on Facebook every day, okay? And just to put that in perspective for you, 1.82 billion seconds is 57 years, okay? 1.82 billion people on Facebook. So my point of telling you all of this today is um, you have to keep growing your network. We're nowhere near saturate, saturated. You have to get out of your own social media bubble that you are in. You have to think bigger than what you're thinking right now. And then you have to stay. You have to trust the process and you can't count yourself out. I have people all the time that are like, oh, I know like a three people that sell the product. Okay, <laughs> that's great, perfect. There's about uh, billions of other people that don't know about it. So I need you guys to just open up, you know, have a brain cell for what this opportunity truly is. Um, because I think that belief and that confidence in what you have your hands on is a crucial part of seeing success in 2021. Um, and then the last thing I want to leave you with is that people go through a major life change every nine months. Okay. That's the statistic, whether it's in their career, their family, their marriage, a move, um, any of the above or many of the above in 2020 for a lot of people. Um, so every nine months, if you are not committing to your goals in this business for the next nine to 12 months, if you quit before those nine to 12 months are over that those seeds that you're planting, that work that you're putting in right now, it's going to pay off, but it's going to pay off for someone else for someone else that sticks. I can't tell you guys how many customers and distributors I've had over the years that someone else did the work for me. They were ready to go because of a major life change. They had a baby, they lost a job, COVID, whatever. There's the list goes on and on of reasons why people join or reasons why people order these products when they do, but they will, it will only pay off for you if you stay, if you trust the process and you stay. Um, okay. So Again, I know that's not training info for you. We're giving that all of you to, to tomorrow night, but I think building that self-confidence and belief in this industry itself is so crucial. So I'm going to pass it off to Tiffany to share what she's got for you guys tonight. Hey guys, my name is Tiffany yes. Piper. I've been in the business now for five years. I'm a presidential diamond and I started this business, guys, as a simple distraction from a hard loss. I started because of life. So what I want to ask every single one of y'all really quick to put in the chat, if you, you don't have to share what kind, but if you have some kind of life 
happening in your life right now, will you just drop a two in the comments? That could be, I mean, maybe you're having marital issues. Maybe you have a new baby. It's life doesn't always have to be bad. Maybe you just had a baby. Um, maybe you've lost a loved one, lost a job. You, you're sick, family sick. Maybe you have a crazy full-time job. The point that I'm getting at guys is we all have life. We all have some shape of life that's going to, that's going on right now. And it's not going to go anywhere because that's, I mean, when you get over whatever this part of life is, then there's, I mean, that's just how life is. It's just something else. And then it's something else. And then it's something else. So what I'm, what I want to talk to you about tonight is regardless of where you are, just start. Whether you've been in the business and you just signed up and you, this is your very first Zoom, or maybe you've been in a couple weeks, maybe you've been in a couple months, a couple years, maybe you are relaunching, whatever the case is, just start where you are. Forget the past. Like Alyssa said, we're not even looking at 2020 anymore. We're not, we're just, that year just vetoed itself out. It's gone. We're looking forward. Whatever, don't, don't even worry about what happened back there because that's not a reflection of where you're going. You're not going backwards. You're going forward. So don't look that way. Whatever it is, start with fear. If you have, if you're scared, that's okay. I was terrified when I started this business. There's still moments that terrify me. So start with fear, start with pain, start being busy. It's okay if you're busy. Most people join this business so that it, it, it alleviates them from being busy and having that busy lifestyle, not because they, they just wanna be busier, but it's okay, start busy. Start with doubt, start with your handshaking, just start where you are. Nothing will work unless you do, okay? You have to be disciplined enough to say, I'm going to do this. I know what my KPIs are, or I know whatever tracker you're on, or what if you work off of a to-do list, everybody works this business differently, but you know what you need to do every single day to do something for this business. So you have to be disciplined and hold yourself accountable to actually do that. So I want you to commit, number one, your very first commitment that you got on this Zoom. So I'm super, super proud to see all y'all's faces. Number two, I want you to make sure that you show up tomorrow on this Zoom. And then I want you also to show up on Tuesday. And it doesn't end there because you're going to continue to show up to yourself. You know, discipline is like choosing between what you want the most and what you want now. Sometimes that Netflix show and, um, you know, whatever it is that you do that, that gets you distracted and makes you end up putting this business on the back burner isn't really worth it, guys. It may seem all grand at the time, and then you get binge-watching TikToks so or you get binge-watching Netflix, and guess what? You didn't get any of your work done. You just easily set your work on the back burner because you, what you wanted now was more important than what you wanted most. So I want you to remember why you joined this business. What is it that you want in the long term? And don't let that shy away. You know, if you have to write it on a mirror and write it on sticky notes all around your house, write it on a, your remote control and wrap it around it so that every single time you pick up that remote control, you can see, oh, yeah, I probably should put this down and do my work. Because I'm telling you, you need to stay on track. And I want to make sure that you don't veer off of that, guys. This, this business can take you insane places. And I'm fixing to go over some of my personal transformation of what happened to me in my business. And I want to show you exactly what can happen in the next 90 to 120 days if you just start, if you stay disciplined, if you put in the action, because we can tell you over and over again all the things to do, and we can tell you over and over again what, what we've done to be successful, but until you put that into place, it's not gonna work, guys. So I, I just wanna go over these numbers really quick, and if you were brand new, this may, this may sound like it's totally 
um, too good to be true or cannot happen or anything like that. But guys, this really happened. <laughs> this is, this really happened to me and this happened in this very short period of time. Okay. So we're going to go back to December of 2018, December of 2018, my volume was a little over 23,000. I was paid as a diamond. Okay. One month within one month. So January, 2019, one month. My volume jumped to 50,442. I was paid as a triple diamond. Within 30 days, I went from being paid as a diamond to being paid as a triple diamond. In February, my volume jumped to 67,329. In March, my volume went to 101,141 and I was paid as a presidential diamond. In four months, my paycheck went from 2,000 to 18,000 in one month time, or one, not one month time, in one month. My paycheck was 18,000. All because I put in the action. All because I showed up. I could have easily, easily just sat there December 2018 and not put my running shoes on. I could have easily been somebody that tuned into a Zoom just like this and said, well, why not me? Or, oh yeah, I'm going to do that and then put it on the back burner. Because I had life. I still have life. But I showed up. I made sure I got on these Zooms. I made sure I did my non-negotiables. And I did every single day. So I'm telling you right now, guys, if you want to look up in 30, 60, 90, 120 days to a completely different bank account, you can if you decide that you're going to because the only person standing in your way of you and that bank account that you want is yourself. Just like Alyssa said, there's people out there. Don't feed into those excuses. If there's now everybody's telling me, no, nobody wants this. Everybody, I just can't find anyone because you're just not asking enough people. And we're going to go over more, more in-depth training tomorrow. But I promise you, there are people that need this business. There are people that need our products. You've just got to show up and ask them. So. That's all that I have. I'm going to shoot this over to Lauren and she's going to tell you a little bit about her personal testimony of what this time of year has done for her. Hi everyone. I'm Lauren. I am a double diamond. I started about a year and a half ago. Um, and I just kind of, I, I had been a, a customer for many years and I had watched Alyssa's journey and I had just been praying for something new and, um, just needed a little bit of extra cushion in the month. And so I decided to jump in, um, in July of 19 and I worked just hard enough that month to get my shopping spree. And then I just quit working <laughs> and I don't know why I quit working. I, I thought it would just come to me if I did some posts every now and then, and people would want to order and my family would be supportive. And that just wasn't the case. And so in December of that year, I started working again and I reached out to Alyssa and I was like, I don't know what I need to do, but I'm going to go to conference. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go and be around everybody. Everybody's talking about, I think it was um, Mike Patillo who said that uh, what is it? 85%. You're more, you're 85% more likely to um, promote after going to conference. The people that go to conference are 85% more likely to promote. Um, so I was like, okay, well, what do I have to lose? It'll be a good little family vacation. I'm going to go to conference. It completely changed my life. January of last year, I was um, a paid as executive and I hit Ruby right before I got to conference, like a couple of days before conference. And um, my volume was 2450 and by, so Feb, January, I hit Ruby, February, I was Ruby, March, I went Emerald, um, April, I went Diamond, 
and my volume was 10,600 and I earned a $15,000 bonus. And then in May, I don't know if, a, if you're new, you may not know this um, and talk to your sponsor and see if it's a good option for you, but this company lets us sponsor our spouse. So we can actually have two accounts that we can make money on. We can get two checks each month. So I had started my boyfriend's account. So April, I went diamond and I got a $15,000 bonus. In May, I got his account to diamond and got another $15,000 bonus. You guys, it is insane what can happen in just a couple of months like tiffany said just start somewhere you are the only person standing in your way i the only thing i changed was showing up every day i was listening to what our our leaders were telling us they've done all this work for us they've done everything for us to teach us what works and what doesn't work and they literally give us every tool that we need to be successful we just have to do it so my advice to you guys would be get to if you're not going to um i know it's virtual this year but if you're not going to galveston if you're not going to go to the the party or the get together whatever you want to call it then you need to get on and buy your ticket and you need to watch it live from your house you need to watch this event you need to be close to this, this event because it will completely change your life. And you need to stay plugged in and you need to do host to post. You need to do all the things that we're telling you to do. And I promise you in 60, 120 days, your check, your volume, your organization, your uh, confidence, everything will change, everything. So that's my advice to you. You guys, there's nothing um, that's just, your dreams can never be too big. Like if you can, if you have a, a dream, just go for it. If you have a goal, go for it. You just have to do the work. We can't want it more for you than you want it. We can't do the work for you. We can give you every tool that you need to do um, to be successful. You just have to do it. And I, like Alyssa said, it may look like it's completely impossible and it may look like there's absolutely no way and you're the only person in your organization and there's nobody working and nobody doing anything. But I promise you, if you just keep showing up every single day and do the work, it, God will, God will provide everything that you need. You just have to, you just have to show up for yourself and for your team and for your why. Um, just remember why you started just stay connected to everybody and just do the work. That's all. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, um, we have one more person that's going to share tonight. There are so many people. And if you guys, I mean, we couldn't obviously ask everyone to be on here tonight, but if you have your own personal testimony from conference or just like you love this season, if you've been in this season for a couple of times and you can't really, it's hard to put into words what happens when you do the work in this season. Okay. Um, but I'm going to pass it off to, um, I want to make sure I say your name right, but Jenna Musi, Musi, are you on here? Hi, Jenna Musi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Thanks I'm for good. joining us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Um, so yeah, I actually wasn't at conference because Kara, who was my enroller, signed me at conference. Um, so I have not been in this business a full year. I started February 1st. Um, I am a double diamond and my husband is a diamond. And basically I started this business. I work full time. Um, I'm a mom of three and I needed some extra money and I wanted the coffee and Kara was like, girl, you need to try and sell this. <laughs> so I um, joined a conference and I honestly just joined to make a couple hundred dollars um, just to kind of help with things here and there and quickly realized what I had at my fingertips because I could do this when my kids were sleeping. I could do this when um, in between on my lunch break, I'm still working full time. Um, when I hit triple, when, when I hit triple, um, I will be coming home to my boys and that is my goal right now. Um, but yeah, so basically I just joined and I started following the KPI checklist. I started doing the goals. Um, Kara said, start with your shopping spree, go from there. And same thing with everyone else is saying, I showed up, I 
sometimes I <laughs> looked like I got hit by a Mack truck. And that was because I was messaging so many people. I didn't care. Well, I shouldn't say that. In the beginning, I did care what people thought. I was like, oh my gosh, what are they going to think? And then I realized guys, my check was blowing up because I was taking that time and I was putting in that effort and I was showing up every day and I didn't care at that point. I was on a mission and right now my goal is to get to those boys. And every day I leave, I'm like one step closer. <laughs> so um, that was my goal. Um, but really, I honestly think if you guys just have a why, you need to find out what your why is and use that as motivation. Because if you don't, you're going to get distracted you're gonna get discouraged and you just need to have that why and right now like I said those three boys are a huge why for me so it's definitely huge motivation and I'm excited to have my first conference <laughs> so that's awesome um, but yeah follow the KPI checklist and the other thing that I strongly suggest and I tell my girls all this all the time and I'm like I know I sound like a broken record you girls need to do host to post I just pulled up some numbers <laughs> because a lot of girls on my team are new. A lot of them just enrolled with the $39 promos and they're terrified of the 39 or of the host to post. And I'm like, I was the same way. And I pulled these numbers. So I started in February, February, I had 19 customers, which I was so proud of myself. I was woo first coming out. I was like, this is amazing. Next month I had six and I was like, what happened? <laughs> like all those, all those new people that were just seeing this. They kind of were like, okay, well, it's not new. So Kara's like, can you please try host to post next month? So I was like, okay, I'll give it a whirl. April, so I started in February. In April, I signed 61 customers. And that was my first month doing host to post. And like I said, that was the month that I looked like I got hit by a Mack truck. I didn't know what my name was. I was like, so, I was like, this is amazing. Um, the following month, I went diamond. So in three months, I went diamond. Um, same thing, um, host to post, that is my, that I love that. I tell that to all my girls, listen, we are gonna rock this out. Um, May I had 41 customers and I was like, I love this. So I definitely think host to post is key. If you haven't watched videos, YouTube, they're out there. Um, that is, that blows up your business, I swear. <laughs> um, and then just staying consistent. That was another thing that I promised to myself. I was like, I'm gonna post every day. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what's happening. My husband had COVID. I was like, let me know what you need. I'll get it after I get this post up. <laughs> he, I was just, I needed to stay that down that path and stay consistent because if I made an excuse one day, it was going to be easy to make an excuse the next day. So if I just made that promise to myself and I did that and I've, and like I said, I've just been so blown away and so blessed by this company. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love your story so much. That was so fun to get to listen to that. Um, you have lots of um, cheerleaders in the chat for you, by the way. Um, and if, if you're free tomorrow night, I feel like there's a lot of people that, at least on our team, that would love to hear some of your host to post tips. And I know there's a lot of us that would love to sign 61 customers from it too. Um, I'm going to just touch on a little bit of my conference story and then we'll jump off so you guys can get on the Sunday night call. Um, my kind of testimony from this season is a little bit different. Um, I actually, uh, went triple pretty fast in my business and then stayed there for a really long time. And I can remember the exact moment that I made the decision to stop putting this business on the back burner, to stop looking at it as a plan B that, um, it was that my best days were behind me that I kind of just had this breakthrough and I was actually at an event. I was able to have dinner with Pam and a bunch of other leaders. It was November of 2014. And I know that seems like ages ago, you guys, but it's important part of the story. So in November of 2014, Pam said something along the lines of there are people that are going to join this business in the next 90 days. They're going to pass some of you guys up because you're not taking advantage of what you have your hands on. And something just struck a chord with me. And I want you guys to think about that. Even if you are brand new, you still have more experience than the person that hasn't joined tomorrow. And there's going to be someone that joins tomorrow that goes emerald in two months, that goes diamond or double or triple or prez or ambassador in the year of 2021. And they haven't even joined yet. So why not you? 
you're already on the Zoom, so you already have more info than they probably already did. You've probably already done the training videos. You've probably already started doing host to post. You're already ahead. So why not you? Okay, so, but here's the, here's the interesting part of my story, and some of you guys are going to experience this, so I want you to hear it. November, I made that decision. I was a lifetime triple diamond, maintaining double diamond, making a below average double diamond check. I hadn't been putting in the work. I hadn't been enrolling. I was just coasting. And I made the decision. And guess what? My paycheck went down the next month. It went down like almost $1,000. And guess what? The next month, I was still committed to it. I was trusting the process. My paycheck went down again in January. And, you know, I'm like, okay, that sucks, but I'm in it. People are doing it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, and then the next month, you guys, my paycheck tripled. And then the next month I was so focused on my team hitting their goals and I was pouring so much in my team. I was still enrolling, still had this vision of where my business was going. My paycheck stayed about, about the same during boom season. You guys, it was February. It was conference time. My paycheck was about the same. Okay. Um, but I want to tell you that my paycheck, that when I made that decision in November, my paycheck was in the $3,000 range. And by the next July, it was $24,000, even though my paycheck went down and then it went down and I could have said, you know what? I made the decision, but I'm going to make the other decision. And I'm just going to clearly my best days are behind me. I could have made that decision. But when you make a decision, you don't get to just take it back 30, 60 days later. If you've truly made the decision to make this your year, then you have to make it the year. You can't say in 30 or 60 days, I'm not on track. I'm not where I thought I would be. You have to make the decision for the full year that this is going to be. You don't get to decide what it's going to exactly look like. Okay, because it's not always just a straight little increase the whole way to your goal. A lot of times there's ups and there's downs and there's all sorts of things that happen with your chart and the compensation plan and the way things work in this business. So you have to trust the process. Okay, and I know there's a, those are some crazy numbers for those of you that are brand new, but I also want you to know, and that's why Tiffany shared hers too, that it's real <laughs> and that it happens for normal people like us that are on this Zoom and I'm sweating and I don't like public speaking. And for those of you that are my team know that, but it happens for normal people just like us because we made the decision and we actually committed to that decision. So that's my encouragement for you guys tonight. Like Tiffany said, make the decision and then show up for that decision every day. Show up tomorrow, show up the next day, show up when you're tired, show up when you're feeling discouraged, stay plugged into this fire in this community because it's something that's kept me going and so excited and passionate about this business for nine years now. You guys, without this community, without these Zooms, especially without these Zooms, now that we can't get together as much face-to-face, -face, without that, I would not still be here. You've got to stay close to the fire to keep your business moving. So um, that's it for tonight. You guys go jump on the Sunday night call. I'm sure it's already started since they're usually late, but we went over and we will see you guys tomorrow night for our, um, our training camp. So see you guys there.